What's up, my friends? It's c 3 Got a quick tip for you, I guess, a quick idea. This is just something that I really like to explore when I'm making music is working on transitions from verse to chorus and then from the chorus into the verse and then into the bridge. I think transitions play a big role in the just making the song sound interesting. You know, there's you got to do some cool stuff sometimes. You got to sometimes drop out the bass guitar temporarily until, you know, at the last little bit of the verse heading into the chorus or uh, whatever you got to do. So I've made a video on this before. I'll have a link at the end of the, of the video with uh, like three or four ideas that I had in that video. But this is another one that I've just been kind of messing around with. It sounds pretty cool. So I thought I'd show you folks. So this is one of the songs I'm working on for my album coming out in a couple months, hopefully. And um, I've got this. Let's just listen to the verse into the chorus. Now, most of the work's already done as far as like I had the idea to do kind of a cool thing in between the verse and the chorus, but now I'm wanting to add a, an effect like a flanger phaser effect um, in that spot. But here it is without that, just so you can kind of hear, here's a, an idea of something you can do in between the verse and the chorus. This is one thing that I've done here. So it does, you know, the guitar uh, pans from right slowly to left and then back to right. And then I have a drum fill and I have the singing. So that in and of itself is like, okay, it's a transition. It's not just going right from the verse smack into the chorus and then boom, here's the chorus again. It's just a little unique thing in there. Um, but I did want to add a kind of flanger effect. So when you hear the guitar and the vocal saying room for one more and the, and the drums doing the drum roll, uh, drum roll, it's called a drum fill, um, have some kind of swaying effect with, uh, with a flanger. So I'm going to just on, the, I'm going to do it on the master track for the entire song for this small section. I'm just going to sing out the small section. Um, and let's just see what we have. Meta flanger, stereo waves. Cool. And I'm just going to keep the default, whatever this is. So I just applied a flanger to the master track on the entire track. So without any automation, which is where I pick and choose where I want this effect to take place, um, the entire song is going to sound kind of weird now. That actually sounds kind of cool, but obviously that, like, that kind of ruins the whole song. But I do want it during that slim section here. So what we're going to do, at least in Reaper, this is how you do it. I'm going to open up the trim menu. Um, every DAW is going to have this where you can automate or it might be called an envelope where you can you have an effect and then you're choosing over time when that effect happens or not doesn't happen. And so in this case, the meta flanger, I'm going to go to the wet option. Um, and I'm just wet, meaning it's going to be on. And if I turn wet all the way down, that means it's off. You see this purple bar, this purple bar appeared and it's notice it says hundred percent envelope, wet, metaflanger stereo, 100%. That means this effect is 100% in effect at all times. If I grab the bar and turn it down, you'll notice it says 0% now. Okay. So. Now it's off. 0% means that effect is off across the whole song. The effect is off. I do want it on just for a brief moment here. So I'm going to highlight the brief moment that I want it and I'm going to bring it up. So you'll see across the whole song, there's just this little section where that effect is going to happen. So let's hear it. Let's, let's hear the clip um, leading into that. And then you'll kind of notice that little wavy flangery effect for just that brief moment here. Cool. So again, I already worked pretty hard on trying to figure out the part that I want there with the guitar and the drum fill and everything. And this is just, as I was listening to it, it's like, okay, let's add a little, let's sweeten it up a little bit. Let's make it sound pretty cool. So anyway, that's just, hopefully it's giving you the idea here. The big idea here is that 
there's some stuff that you can do between verses and choruses and leading out of a chorus into another verse or whatever you, you, whatever you're doing in the song, be thinking of that, be thinking of ways that you can add some interesting transitions to keep the song moving, keep that momentum going and make the song more interesting instead of just being expected, you know, throw in some unexpected stuff in there. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification bell, leave more comments on other people's posts, buy all of my stuff, click the links to the descriptions, f follow me on my YouTube channel and on my um, Twitter and on my Facebook, um, <clears throat> Instagram, follow me there, like all my posts there. What, the, what am I missing? Uh,